My first laser engraving. First, we import the DXF file of Christmas carriage into Lightburn. From the file, we can see that the file is divided into side panels and bottom panels. In order to achieve a better engraving effect, we need to group the graphics and set the engraving parameters. After completing the graphics grouping, we frame all the graphics and set XPOS and YPOS in the upper left corner of light burn, usually set to 0 or 1. Now let's set the laser engraving parameters. The laser engraving parameter settings will be quite different due to different materials, but there is also a general rule. If it is engraving non-metallic objects, the engraving speed can be set at 3000 mm per minute, and the engraving power can be set at 50%. Within, if it is a hard material, such as stone, ceramics, stainless steel, etc., it is necessary to reduce the speed and increase the power to achieve the engraving effect. If you need to cut materials, generally the cutting speed is set to 230 mm per minute and the cutting power is set to 100%. It can cut most low density materials, such as 2 mm plywood and 3 mm basswood board, at one time. After setting the parameters, click Save G-Code at the bottom right of Lightburn to save the file to the computer desktop. Great, you have got the laser engraving file. At this time, we can copy the file to the TF of the engraving machine through the card reader insert the TF card into the TF card slot of the laser engraving machine. Put the laser engraving machine on the engraving material. The 3mm thick basswood board is used here. It is worth noting that the work surface will be burned during the cutting operation. If necessary, use waste wood boards on the work surface to protect the work surface. Okay, let's start. First move the laser head to the far left through the X on the screen, click the laser button on the screen, click position to specify the origin of the device after entering, click return, click sculpture to select the file to be engraved, click engraving, click the checkmark and start working.